Hi, Chuck here with SoundPure, and today we're taking a look at the APS Sub 10, which is uh, a 10 inch active subwoofer designed for studio reference. And I have had the good fortune to have had it in the studio here for about a week. Uh, clearly it's out of position where it is, uh, but I had it uh, in, in a really nice spot in the room uh, where I felt like it was perfectly in phase with the tops. Uh, and you know, so listening to them with the uh, the Aeons for a week, as well as uh, our other studio reference monitors uh, for AB comparison, and also just to see uh, just how universal it is uh, to to try to get an idea. And I've and so more than just two sets, we've we we popped a few others up there throughout the course of the week just to see how well the sub blends and just how universal it is and. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it completes a full range system with, with any pair of two-way tops or even three-way tops um, to give it an insanely accurate low frequency representation. Um, one thing to take note of uh, is just how incredibly low distortion it was. I mean, I was really listening carefully uh, to, to some very stringent uh, test material to to, ju to hear just how not only how deeply does it reach, uh, but just how deeply does it reach and sound clean and clear and incredibly tight. And I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, it passed all of the tests, uh, not only sonically, um, but also structurally. You know, so a lot of these 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 low frequency tests. Uh, will really show the construction quality in the form of uh, some sort of, you know, rattling. You know, uh, if a company doesn't do a good job at decoupling the cabinet from resonant frequencies, it'll start to resonate at certain frequencies. And I didn't hear any of that, which is really, really uh, key and, and certainly impressive. Um, adding something like this to a two-way system that you have is, is probably more important than you think in terms of cleaning up your mix. You need to hear what's happening below 50 hertz, sometimes even below 30 hertz. And this guy's gonna tell you what's happening down there so you can tighten that stuff up, take it out, remove it, um, and, and get your mix nice and clean. Or, or maybe have just the right amount and find where you want that point to be so that your, your, you know, your kick drum is hitting in the right spot and, and, and you're getting an accurate idea of what, what, uh, of what that should be. So um, yeah, so get in touch. I'd love to talk to you more about this sub and, and adding it to your system and how to integrate it. Uh, call or write anytime and we'll see you in the next video.